Can't press start unless you have a game. I'm starting to get a headache. Let's play Final Beat. Three, two, one, go. Oh snap! Yeah, no, I get a headache, man. It's starting to kick right on in there. Hey, hey, hey. But good night, True Blunts. You said you're about to go to bed. I don't know how long you're staying up. I'm about to go to bed too. I think everybody's about to go to bed. It's like almost five o'clock in the morning. If it's not already, I don't have a clock in my living room anymore. Got rid of cable. My cable box what was my clock in the living room. Guys, if you've never seen a speed run of this game before, I'm going to show you 11 exits, which is the quickest way to beat the game other than the credits uh, glitch, but I don't know that anyway, so I couldn't show it to you. So it's 11 exits, and we're trying to be at its sub-11 time, 11 minutes. So that's the first level. You just run through there, run and jump, which is much similar to this level. You just run and jump. You don't really get the coins and stuff. I know that's shame, shame, right? This this level was actually designed for speedrunners, to be honest. Uh, Nintendo put a little brick in here, and you'll see it here in a second. They put a brick right here. If you hit that within a certain amount of time, you get a one-up. But if you hit it and you're slow, then it's nothing in there. So Nintendo's like, let's see how fast people can run through this level. <sighs> Starting to yawn. Sorry, guys. So that's a lot of running and jumping. Let's see if we can run and jump in here as well. Hopefully we'll see a nice fish boost. It's a fun little trick. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened there, guys. There you go, I got the fish boost even though the time. I'm supposed to end that at 275, and then at 273 up at the top. And I gave you guys a little bonus points. It's a little bonus there. This is Iggy's castle. What you want to do here is run and jump. Hold on, there's some holding on here. Hold on, little girl! So you run and jump, run and jump, run and jump. You get in here, and this is an auto scroller, which means it's gonna scroll no matter what, what I do. So this one is timed out, and you can't run through this. You can push the wall like I'm doing right now. doing just pushing that wall to the right there's gonna be a door popping up here in a sec go ahead and hit him and he's out of here 238 239 all right thought it was gonna be worse than that but it wasn't so very cool and you got a nice cut scene there's nothing you can do here is that hang out with everybody in chat so what's up guys? Guys? What is up? Cool. Oh, stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. I don't even sit like this. Alright, now what you do here, you don't run. You run a little bit. You run right here. Come up here, you, gra you grab this feather, which is OP, and you run a little bit more, and then you glide. So what we're going to do for the rest of this map is get some, scoo some air up and keep it up. And you get the key, throw it in the hole takes us on to the secret level down here in the water. This one you don't run at all either. You Well, you, there's a little running, but mostly you just swim. You swim really slow. That's one bad thing about water levels is you're always slow. Look how slow you are. 
here's where we're gonna do a little running up here. We get a shell. We hold on to that shell as long as we can. And that lets us uh Let's just come through this level a little bit quicker. 255, that's pretty decent. Not great, but not bad. You do that, you come in this ghost house here. Now this is a level I messed up on the past like 30 runs, so let's hope I don't do it now. So far so good, but that's not where I messed up last time. I'm gonna scroll this over, run, Fly up here, right? Fly a little bit more. Fly some more. Get in the door. Gonna schedule my ghost. This one, the, he's, the ghost, well, the little ghosts are gonna chase after you if you're not looking at them. But the big boo. It's always going to do the same thing. 333, it's right. It's always going to do the same thing. It's going to go left, right, left. And you just throw your blocks up at him. And there you go. He's gone. Three hits. Rule of threes. Now we're going to get a star world. And I'm going to show you guys where the keys are. Because the only way to go around star world is with the keys. Do a little zippity doo right there. Zippity doo. And you try to you try to do that one, but it's alright. Zippity doo da. You got the zippity and then the doo da. That was the zippity and a bit of the doo da, not a full doo da. This here is another water level. This is like the e one of the easiest levels in the game. All you gotta do is get you a Yoshi down here, swim with them, don't feed them. You can get the star and you go. F you won't go any faster. To get the star, you don't go any faster. It just makes some cool music. And if Yoshi eats the star, he becomes big. But we don't want him big because we want to hold on to him as long as we can to come down here. Do a little whoopity doo. Oh, missed that. Hit both of them. We'll take him with us. Get the key run on in there. 259. Not too shabby. <clears throat> the next level is going to be really quick, so pay attention. Here we go. What we're doing is a run, jump. Throw that up, get that key, and boop, right in the hole. Quickest level of the game, like two seconds. All right, the next next one is we're doing some more flying. So hopefully we can do this. Let's go. Gonna fly up here, stay above these guys, right? And then you want to kind of glide a little bit down. Cause you want to you want to be above these guys and drop a little bit, drop some more. All right, 271's not too shabby. Get the key, throw it in the hole. And look at that, guys. We're not gonna finish um, Star World because we're gonna go straight to King Koopa. And hopefully I can do this move right here. I'm gonna hit the block and coast in. And then, there you go, nice. I'm supposed to go in the door a little bit quicker. Come on, Mario, what's wrong with your doors? All right, and the trick to this one, you see the first spike that's going down, it's got all the little thorns on the end. Count three thorns, one, two, three, and then run. And you always make it. He's having troubles with the door. With this one, what you do, it's dark, I know you guys don't really see that well, but you fly up here, and you come down and you spin, spin the wind, spin the wind. Just keep running and spinning and flying. Go in here. Right, now we're at King Koopa again, and you guys saw that, saw me try to do it, so we're gonna try again. And this uh, again is the quickest way to beat the game. You let them go three times on the fourth, you, you run over here, and then you jump up and you fly. And you kinda wanna coast. Hit that guy there. I'm gonna kill this, let him come over, run, jump a little bit. I thought I'd jump a little early, so that was a, a good surprise. All right. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Very cool. I 
for this one, like I said, you go over here, get that little guy there, you get him to run into the wall a bunch of times. Run over here. He's over here, then you run up here. Oh my goodness, I messed it up. That's okay. We did get the ball skip, so not too shabby. So what you do is you, when he's throwing those Koopas up in the air, you hit him and it hits right down on Bowser. So it counts as the hit, because all you gotta do is hit him twice. I know law of threes, but you hit him. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can do it. And that's a PB. You guys were hit here for the PB. I got a PB, guys. PB is personal best. 